Well, hello everyone. Today is April 10th, 2024, marking the official grand reopening of 1900 Park Fair here at the Grand Floridian. This is amazing. Like, I'm seriously shooken with shock. Yeah. Because today is also a very historic day. Today was the reopening of breakfast, which we got to attend earlier. And now we're back to bring you guys along for dinner. Yeah, I'm very excited. Breakfast was actually really good. The character interactions were fun. The new, like, rethemed atmosphere of the restaurant is a lot of fun. And the food was good, too. Yeah. So, like, coming for a character meal, food isn't generally that good. Yeah. So we were happy with that. That was awesome. Yeah. But we're back. I'm excited to see what they're offering for dinner. I'm excited to see all the different things they're doing here tonight. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I know 1900 Park Fair was kind of a favorite of many. We never really got to experience it in the recent, like, later years, but I remember coming here when we were younger. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to get to see all the characters again. We're going to eat some more food. I'm very excited, and I'm also getting very hungry. Yeah. So with that being said, I think we're going to head inside. We're going to try to get checked in, and we're going to go eat. Sounds good. Now, it has come to my attention after eating our breakfast, Matt did not try the strawberry soup. You know, I got a bowl of it, and then I completely forgot to try it. I left it on the table. Nice. So now it's my chance. Yeah. One more chance to try the it's strawberry soup. It's a piece soup. of history today. Not only is this place reopening, but it's also Matt's first time trying the strawberry soup. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And looking at the sign here for 1900 Park Fair, you can see they do close after breakfast. They're open eight to 12 and then four to nine. So you can see the doors are currently closed. What's it like, um, 335 or something? Yeah, 335. Yeah. So uh, I'm getting ready because you can check in 20 yeah. minutes before. Yeah. So I, I noticed every single time we come to these openings, I always want to be the first person. Mm -hmm. Like I always want it to be like the first person I ever see it. I don't think I've ever done it. Oh, we did it at Boma. Oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. But it'll be fun. So I have a yeah, world. Here's another ready. chance. <laughs> we'll see. We're gonna try and check in. All right. Well, we are officially back. Yeah, this, back for round two. This is great. This is very fun. The balloons, as you can see, are still up. Mm -hmm. The festivities are still continuing. So. This has been awesome. I think it's been a great day today, but I will say food at dinner is very intriguing. It smells good. It smells good, mm. so it'll be a really fun time. I'm excited. And if you didn't miss our breakfast, this is kind of the check-in area. This is where you're gonna be checking in. They have some seating over here, and then once we do get called, you'll go in there to get seated. But kind of going with like the 1900 Park Fair. So it used to be more more heavily like carousel themed. So you can see we have some like concept art. That's a carousel or like blueprints, I guess. Which is pretty cool. Not so. a carousel or a lot. Yeah. And I still really love this wallpaper with like the carousel animals on it. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Kind of that one's like a fish. That one's a rabbit. Yeah, there's a camel. Yeah. All kinds of different animals. And then more of the blueprints here. I like those a lot. That's fun. I like this idea. So part of the storyline is now like the wish. Yeah. Like wishes. I like that there's like so many different nods to like mm. wishes and different yeah. things. I so. feel like they blended the old and the new really they well. They blended the theme of the characters well with the environment, which yeah. I think is really pretty cool to see here. Welcome to 1900 Park Fair's Wish Makers. Thank you so much. Alright, we're officially seated for our round two. Again. What do you think, Guya? This is good. I'll say one thing I forgot to show. The menu kind of sparkles a bit. It does, it's yeah. Kind of kind very, of like a like a metallic look yeah. to it, mm -hmm. which is very cool. So is this the same? Yeah, this is the same as this morning. The same beverage menu. Yep. So I guess all the beverages are available all day. But I want to point out. Look at the non-alcoholic ones. I didn't really show them in the morning because they're not really morning drinks. But yeah, you can see it's nice to see they have some like unique non-alcoholic drinks here. Normally it's just the same like that watermelon spritzer yeah, or whatever yeah. it is and all the same drinks. So I'll also say the lavender lemonade, as of now it says, it's lemonade with flavors of lavender inspired by New Orleans influence Gosh. on American cuisine. Mm. So I don't know, this seems like something I'm gonna have to get here today. Yeah, it'll go good with the gumbo. Yeah. We did also get our cards again if you didn't see the last video. Apparently we write our wishes on this and then like at the end, they come true or something like that. There's a little bit of a show that goes with it. I won't spoil it, but it's a lot of fun. Also on the back, they do have the autographs of the different um, characters meeting. I was getting a little too excited because they forgot our pencils and he yeah. didn't think he'd have to write his wish. Well, I didn't know what wish to make. And also I don't want to share it with anyone because if oh. you share it, then it doesn't come true. Well, do you want to write it down and then we just won't show it? Maybe, I'll see, I'll okay. think about it. 
Well, with that being said, I have not eaten anything since breakfast, so I think without further ado, let's go up to the buffet. We'll look for some food. Yeah. And we'll go from there. All right, we have made it up to the buffet. I'll start from the end again. This is kind of like the kids' section. You can see there's some plain pasta, meatballs, sauce, some corn there. The meatballs look good. They, they look, do look like pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nothing like incredibly interesting, but it is for kids. I and do like some of it looks good. I like that this is still in Yeah, yeah, that was your gummy worm thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but I, I, I'm it's not. Gummy bears. It's great. Yeah. I love it. Going on from there, they do have salads, peel and eat shrimp. This looks good. I'm going to have to get a pile of that. Yeah. Going forward over here, they have more toppings for your salad over there. They have, that's a citrus vinaigrette. That sounds really good. Yeah. Might have to get a salad on Lossy. Goo is not a healthy goo. He's not getting a salad. Well, not yet. I'm still figuring out what I'm getting. It's strategy. Also a variety of different like food salads, potato salad, Mediterranean broth, salad, oh, Mediterranean salad, a bunch of different salads, Broc Cush salad, broccoli slaw. Gosh, there you go, lots of options. I'll say this roll looks very good. It does, yeah. It looks like um, I don't know where I have it, somewhere. Yeah, that's um, the type brown of roll you would want. The, the, oh, that's true. See that bread looks good. That focaccia with sun dried tomatoes and herbs. Gonna get some of that. Going on from that, they have both prime rib and porchetta. Those look really good. I'm definitely gonna have to come back for some of that. We skipped most of the line and went straight for the gumbo. That looks good. I put wow. some rice under it. Looks it looks really good, actually. Also, chicken noodle soup. Coming back over here by the prime rib, they do have mashed potatoes, a couple different sauces, hunter's sauce, a jus, oh, house-made steak, steak sauce. I think they had that for breakfast with the, uh, the hash. Oh, that looks really good. The baked salmon with saffron lemon butter. Wow, you're gonna get some. Saffron's expensive. Yeah, it is. Also got some carrots and green beans here. Sausage looks really good too. Yeah, the sausage looks really good in this macaroni. Our server recommended getting the macaroni with the um, with the prime rib, so we're gonna have to try that later on. He said they would go really well together. And then going forward from there, they do have this impossible sausage thing with zucchini. This curly roasted chicken looks really good. I'll definitely have to try that. And then we're back to where the gumbo was where we tried. Also, you can see here there's a kid's section of pizza and chicken nuggets, all the Disney chicken nuggets you want. This is awesome. This is like this is like the Disney cruise line. And last but not least, we'll take a look at the desserts a little bit later, but here is the strawberry soup. I need to grab one of these because I got it last time and forgot about it, so I need to make sure I try it this time. Put a little bit of toppings on it, or, as, or accoutrements as Todd would call them. Make some strawberries here. There we go, perfect. Food. It looks like goo already started without me while I was giving my food. Well, you were taking too long. I don't know about that, yeah. but here are these, all this gumbo. I'll talk about this in a more second, yeah. but it looks like characters are starting to arrive. So I think we'll meet some characters, we'll try some food. Yeah. I think it'll be pretty good. It all looks very good. Yeah. yeah. Lots of food. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey. Oh, Nico, so nice to see you. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you good? Yeah, uh, you're wearing a little green today. Do you know who that reminds me of? Reminds me of my Theo Bruno. Do you know all about my Theo Bruno? I don't think so. <laughs> well, he has this amazing gift where he can look into the future. Oh, he really? actually had a vision this morning and said that I was going to have the best day and that I was going to make a whole bunch of new friends. Yeah. Oh. I think Theo Bruno was on to something. <laughs> yeah, well, looks like his seems like are coming true so far. Yeah, yeah. Looks like Goo has completely cleaned his plate. What do you have to say for yourself? The gumbo is very good. Really? I think this is a really good thing. I gotta try some. But everything so far looks great. Also, something I will know, I did get the lavender lemonade. Mm -hmm. You can see. Oh, yeah, you got the lavender. So, I'll try this out before we get too far into things. There you go. You wanna give it a try? It tastes similar to the one they had at Epcot a couple years ago, I think, ah, from the festival. Interesting. It's pretty enjoyable. It's very sweet, but like, I like sweet drinks, so I'm happy with it. Personally, I am very excited to try this salmon. So I think I'm gonna try a little bit of that real quick myself. Since Goose spent all the time eating. Let's see. That is a really good flavor to it. I guess it is kind of lemony. I don't, I, maybe it's, no. It almost tastes like a curry sauce to me. But I thought maybe it was the sauce from the chicken, but they're on the opposite sides of the plate. Whatever it is, it's really good. It's extremely flavorful. The salmon itself is cooked perfectly. That's really good. So how does it compare to like other buffet salmons? Like, you know, Beer Garden. I think it's slightly, the salmon itself is very similar to Beer Garden, but the sauce or the whatever flavoring is really nice. I think it's even better. Here's a closer look at the salmon too, if you guys were wondering what it may look like. So it looks like Matt did pay the culinary cast member a visit. I did, yeah. You got some of the prime rib? 
I think I'm gonna try it. Let's try it with the steak sauce, the house made steak sauce. It reminds me of the steak sauce at um, Steakhouse 71. Kind of similar, but it's very good. The prime rib itself is nice. So far, everything here has been just as good, if not better, than um, breakfast. I'm pretty happy with this. Hello, my friend. <laughs> It's so good to see you. I hear you come from the land of Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I come from the land. It's a faraway place. It's where the Herman Camel's Rome called Agrava. Have yeah. you ever been before? Not no. yet. I've heard about it, though. Maybe that could be one of your wishes today. Uh, I think yeah. You can wish to come visit me, Jasmine, and the gang over in Agrava. Oh, it's a lot city of, of mystery and enchantment. Plus, we have the finest merchandise that's at River Jordan, and everything is on sale, usually. Oh, that's Talk exciting. about a real steal, yeah, right? Sounds yeah. good to me. Oh, wait. Not a real steal. I mean, like, a real deal. Yeah. <laughs> I have to watch what I say because I don't steal anymore. I'm reporting. Yeah, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, now, have you written anything on your cards yet? Not yet. Not yet. I'm still thinking about it. All right, well, then a trip to Agra, I think, is definitely in store for That's you. That's a good point, yeah. yeah. What else are you getting into, Goo? I tried the sausage. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell if the sauce of the salmon was right next to it. Oh. And it kind of changed it. Yeah. I don't know, I'll say the gumbo for sure was my favorite so far. I'm still trying things as I'm going. Yeah, there's a lot of things to there's try. There's a lot. Guru looks like is actually on his second bowl of the night <laughs> of strawberry soup. I still haven't tried it. It's good. You yeah. want to try it? I feel like I need to. Let me give this to you. So I did it the right way. I don't think you've done this. I got strawberries and whipped cream to put on top. So I'm going to try, try to get a little bit of it just by itself. And then we'll try it with the toppings as well. It is really good. It's hard to describe, but it's a very like fresh taste. A it's little bit like creamy. It's kind of like if you got strawberry yogurt and like thinned it out, like not as thick. Yeah, I guess so. Like yeah. the soup texture. Yeah. Flavor of that. Wow, that's really good. It's good with the whipped cream. You should try it like that. Yeah. Let me get strawberry with it. That is really good. It's very refreshing. I see why you got multiple bowls. <laughs> One of the things up there that excited me the most was this curry chicken. And this is really good. I don't know if you've tried it yet, but it has a really nice flavor to it. And the chicken is like very tender, like it's almost falling off the bone. But really good flavor all the way throughout. This is really good. You should try it. Let's see. You well, got some of the chicken there. Matt made me try it. So. Yeah. The curry flavor is very potent, very flavorful. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, if you don't like curry yeah. flavors, you're not going to like it, but... Usually, always on their face, but it's just kind of chicken. Mm -hmm. But it always just has that same flavor. Yeah. This is a good change of pace, for sure. So, another one of the things they had up there, along with the prime rib, they had this porchetta, which I guess is like a pork that they serve in, like, Italy and France. And, like, it has, like, a crust to it. It looks very interesting. It looks like Matt's trying it. I don't want really to know what this, like skin or crust or whatever is yeah. they gave it to me i might just eat it without because it's like i can't even cut it it does have a good flavor to it it's not like overly flavorful it'd probably be good with some kind of sauce on it yeah but it's nice it was good they had a lot of sauces up there though which is they pretty did. great yeah well tiana is actually a table over so i brought matt a plate of gumbo yeah we gotta so try it this is tiana's gumbo yeah. apparently Oh, that's really good. Yeah. That's some of the, that's, it's a lot better than the one over at Port Orleans. Yeah. I don't know what, the flavor is nice, the the meat is cooked really nice. So, like, the tip I do, put the rice on the bottom and then pour the gumbo over it. Mm -hmm. That's the way to do it. That's really good, yeah. Wow. Very much like breakfast, there's a huge variety here. You have the gumbo, you have salmon, you have prime rib, you just have everything you could ever want. So, like, even going through here, I feel like one of the best things for this buffet is purely you have a variety of pretty much everything you could ever want, so it's very cool to see all this. This has been great. Another thing I also will note that we kind of discussed during breakfast, Tiana does meet here, and Tiana's actually meeting in her special Tiana's Bayou Adventure outfit, so it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a preview of the attraction, which is very cool to see here, so it's always fun to see all this. Yeah. I see you even wrote your wishes down, too. Oh, yeah. How fun Thank you. There we go. Cinderella just came by. It was kind of hard to see. She caught me off guard. Yeah, yeah. I'll say sometimes, depending where you're seated, characters will come and just yeah, snuck up on you. Yeah. Oh. Welcome, wish makers of all ages. Celebration. 
simple as a thing. Oh, your heart's greatest desire. Got it? Wonderful. Here we go. Hold your wish high in the air. Next, in your best wishing voice, nice and loud now, repeat after me. I wish my wish. You look like you're ready for a Bayou adventure. I definitely am. You know, that ball gown couldn't get me very far, but this is very crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you'll have to hop on over next time. We can cook ourselves a real good family meal, right? Yeah, yeah. sounds good to me. Are you taste testers or chefs yourself? I'd say taste testers. Yep. Just like Lewis. Yeah. That's always yeah. good news, though. Although Lewis isn't good at sharing everything to taste tests. Are y'all good at sharing your food? Sometimes. <laughs> Depends on the food. That's all right. Exactly right. If it tastes real good, keep it to yourself. Yeah. The gumbo is fantastic. Really? Yeah. Why, so. thank you, sir. Well, it's only the beginning. Hopefully, y'all plan on trying yeah. way more of Tiana's food. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that was great. We officially met all the characters here today. What do you think? That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, did you try anything else new? I didn't try anything new on this plate, but I have the peel and eat shrimp here. I'm really excited to try this. Before we do get to that, I also want to mention they do have heavy on water. Yeah, it does cost extra. Yeah, it does cost extra. But if you want you to get, get a bottle for your table, it's very cool. You gotta try the peel and eat shrimp? Yeah, I gotta peel it. And then I'll eat it. Alright. I got some, I'm gonna use some of the sauce here. It's standard buffet Disney peel and eat shrimp. That being said, it's very good. I always enjoy it a lot. I eat a lot of it when we go to um, Crystal Palace. I did show it over there on breakfast, but I wanted to show it for everyone who did not see that yet. As you can see all along here, they do have pictures of all the, I guess they're called wish makers or wish granters or something. All the different characters that are meeting here and some that are not, that I guess have made wishes in their movie. And the wish has been granted. You can see right over there. I don't know if you can see it, but over there is Ariel. And, um, and Rapunzel and different characters. I guess this is like the point in their movie when the wish was granted, maybe. Yeah. My, my wish has been granted as well. What's that? I got a cookie. Oh, gosh. So I'm this sure. is good. I got all the desserts, all the newer desserts. So we're going to try these out. These look very good. Yeah. I'm going to start off with the cookie. As expected, it's your standard Disney cookie, but I, I like Disney cookies, so yeah. I'm happy with it. Also, one of the specialty items here is this warm chocolate cake. Yeah, it looks really good. they have really a vanilla good. sauce that you put on top of it. Mm -hmm. I think that was the same sauce they had for the bread pudding in the morning. It was, yeah, yeah. But you want to give this one a try? I think I do, yeah. Mm. You like it? It's very, like, warm and gooey in the center. Let me try and get it with a little bit more vanilla sauce, maybe. But it is good. The vanilla sauce makes it even better. I recommend putting plenty of the vanilla sauce because it gives it a real good flavor. It kind of cuts through the chocolate a little bit without like overpowering it. This is a really good dessert. You can see it's very like gooey and chocolatey in the center. Very nice. This one also looks very good. It's a fudge brownie. Oh, that looks good. You can good, see yeah. it looks like a nice little brownie. So I don't know. It looks like you have some white chocolate, some different chocolates on there. So I'm gonna try and get like the intersection between them. I'll say, there I feel is. like we've been to a few different character buffets that all have the same exact desserts. And none of these, I feel like I haven't seen any of these anywhere. The so, cupcake. Yeah, other than the cupcake, a vanilla cupcake. Everything else is very unique. And so far very good. So that's like a mousse on top. Ah. Oh. So you get kind of like a mousse flavor on top and then you get the cake under. That's very, that's very good. I also have this toasted coconut cake with a passion fruit custard and hibiscus cream. This is plant-based too, so this oh, looks interesting. pretty interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna give this one a try. I'll say there is a lot of different foods here, a lot of different types of desserts. That's very interesting. I had not put the camera down for like five minutes because I was trying to like analyze this thing. The bread is very coconutty. The passion fruit on top kind of goes really well with that, but it's a very strange one. I'm not sure 
how to review this because it is plant-based and I don't really try a lot of plant-based stuff. We don't need a whole lot of plant-based things, so it's kind of hard for us to say. It was interesting. Like, it was an interesting one to see, for sure. Another dessert that's unique to here is just like, I don't know how to say it. Financier is how it's spelled. I don't know. I'm gonna need a financier to pay for this meal, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but it is an almond cake with sea salt caramel and toasted meringue. It looks really good, actually. I don't know. I've never had anything like this before, so we'll give it a try. Seems to be a very grand dessert for the Grand Florian. It is really nice. The cake itself has like a lemony and almondy flavor to it, which is really good, and the meringue goes nicely with it. I don't know. I don't know what to compare this to, but. It's really good. The flavor, the texture is nice. I'll say also looking at this thing, it's kind of hard to show on camera. But this little chocolate medallion has the Grand Floridian logo on it, mm -hmm. which is honestly pretty cool. So I appreciate that. Who is going absolutely wild? He's going back for his third bowl tonight. Well, strawberry soup. What's that like? The fifth bowl today? I don't know. I mean, I think it's been a very fun day here today. It might be one of the last time in a while I'm gonna have some strawberry yeah, soup. That so. is true. Take it in while I can. There's one last look at Big Bertha, the big organ. Nice organ. Yeah, nice this has organ. been great. I think yeah. it's been so much fun to see the differences between the two meals. We'll also bring you guys along, so mm -hmm. it's been pretty great. Well, now that we are officially done with our meal, I'll say 1900 Park Fair is definitely a bustling place, and there's a lot of people just kind of surrounding it over here. But one thing we didn't really talk about very much, here's the dinner selections here. Four to nine, and it is... Oh, they don't put the price on here. That's kind of weird. $64. $64? I think so. So there's, I know the picture, says peel and eat trip, all the things there, but there was a lot of food they had here. You can scan that QR code to get a better look at everything. But yeah, there you go. Magical stories in Victorian pastimes. Very I magical know, I indeed. I, I don't know what Victorian pastime that was, but either way, it was good. Well, Matt, what did you think? I thought it was pretty good. I think the food was unique. The characters were unique. Really, the whole experience was unique. Yeah. Which I appreciate with character meals. A lot of the time, it's just the same meal recycled. I liked that it kind of had like the backbone of a normal character meal. You yeah. had salmon, you had chicken, you had soups. However, everything I tried was like definitely a step above all the other character meals I've been to for at least dinner. I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of unique. As far as the price goes, $64 is kind of hard to justify in this kind of context. Mm -hmm. But I will say if you are going to Chef Mickey's and spending that much, you might as well come here and get a better meal in my opinion. Yeah, I would say so. But I thought the character interactions were very fun. The food was very decent quality. And um, yeah, I just feel like the whole experience was great. I love the little show thing with the card. I love the like wish storyline. I love how all the characters are all together in that storyline, which I think was very well done. Yeah. So I don't know. I just thought it was a fun experience. It's just a really fun place to come check out. I, I enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along, but it was great. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you do hit that like button. Also make sure you subscribe as well. We had a lot of fun bringing you along on our fun adventures here today. And um, yeah, it's been a good day. We got pog juice, we got strawberry soup. What more could you want? It's been a very good day here today. Well, thank you guys so much for coming along. And as usual, I'm Goo. I'm Matt. And you're you. And we both wish a Goo and a happy reopening day of 1900 Park Fair to each and every one of you. Thanks so much, everyone. We will see you guys later. Have a good day.